In December 2025, the Zhukovsky Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, commonly known as TSAGI, formally announced the successful completion of a series of critical tests on a model of a prospective Russian supersonic passenger aircraft, presently designated under the working name Strish. These tests represented an important milestone in Russia's ongoing efforts to develop next-generation civilian supersonic air transportation, a challenge that the global aviation industry has been striving to address for several decades. The main aim of the research was to validate innovative engineering solutions and aircraft configurations developed to address the conventional challenges that have hindered the broad adoption of supersonic passenger travel. Issues such as severe sonic blasts, elevated structural loads, and engine efficiency continue to constitute the fundamental challenges for any supersonic program, especially within the civilian sector. The Russian Strish initiative addresses these challenges through a methodical and technologically advanced approach, incorporating several innovations that have already demonstrated successful validation through experimental testing. One of TGI's principal accomplishments was the successful validation of a configuration incorporating top-mounted propulsion units on the aircraft model. For the first time in domestic aviation history, the concept of positioning jet engines above the fuselage has been empirically validated as an effective design approach. Such configurations offer a substantial noise reduction effect for sound produced during supersonic flight. Supersonic flight generates shock waves that, when reaching the ground, are experienced as a deafening sonic boom, a phenomenon that has traditionally limited supersonic commercial routes over densely populated regions. The shock wave disturbance, frequently identified as a sonic boom, is broadly recognized as the main technological obstacle hindering the re-establishment of supersonic passenger flights within global commercial aviation. According to TESS AGI, placing the engines on the upper surface of the airframe diminishes acoustic impact by partially shielding the regions where shock waves develop. It also reduces the noise generated by jet emissions near the exhaust nozzles through the structural elements of the fuselage and wings. These results were validated through laboratory testing of inlet models, propulsion system components, and flat jet nozzles, featuring an angled trailing edge within the Institute's wind tunnels. This configuration, in conjunction with advanced aerodynamic innovations such as an extended nose section and specialized wing geometry, enables the modification of surface pressure distributions in supersonic airflow. As a result, the formation of shock waves is further mitigated, leading to a reduced acoustic impact on the ground. One of the key components of the testing campaign, the upgraded RD-93 MS turbojet engine, exhibited performance that fully meets the project's technical specifications. Developed by enterprises of the United Engine Corporation and optimized for supersonic operational conditions, the engine was tested in combination with a noise suppression system engineered by TS AGI specialists. Engineers demonstrated that the air intake system and the flat jet nozzle with an angled cut are capable of delivering an efficient thrust regime while minimizing energy losses. The planar nozzle design, an innovative element of the propulsion system, is manufactured using advanced techniques including laser sintering, high-precision welding, and complex geometry machining. The noise reduction system integrated into the engine exhaust pathway substantially decreased the acoustic footprint of the jet plume during normal operating conditions. This made it possible to demonstrate that the aircraft can comply with strict environmental noise regulations during takeoff, approach, and landing phases. Experts also observe that Russia is making significant progress in the development of propulsion technologies for supersonic transport as a whole. In several areas, it is even surpassing other nations in the speed of producing specialized high-thrust aviation engines for such programs. According to the Director General of the P.I. Baranov Central Institute of Aviation Motors, Russian advancements are several years ahead of comparable projects in the United States. 
The next critical phase of the program involves the creation of a full-scale technological flight demonstrator, also referred to by the working name STRISH. According to current plans, the aircraft will have a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 16 metric tons, will be equipped with two engines, and will feature a composite airframe. This represents a notable technological achievement within this category of supersonic aircraft. One of the most distinctive features of the demonstrator will be a so-called dark cockpit, meaning a cockpit without traditional windows. Instead, pilots and crew will rely on external vision systems using cameras and display screens rather than direct visual contact through glass panels. This closed cockpit concept has already been tested on Russian technology demonstrators and is considered a promising solution for reducing aerodynamic drag and improving the overall structural strength of the fuselage. The development of this demonstrator will allow engineers to validate theoretical and experimental results obtained from ground-based testing. It will also enable detailed study of real-world aircraft performance at supersonic speeds. These evaluations will include aerodynamics, controllability, stability, and interaction with the atmosphere. The project timeline suggests that the first flight of the Strish Flying Demonstrator could take place as early as the year 2029, provided that stable funding continues over the coming years. Such a compressed schedule reflects a high level of technological readiness and highlights the ambition of Russian engineers to secure a leading role in global supersonic aviation. The Russian program must also be viewed within a wider international context. One of its most prominent international counterparts is the American experimental aircraft known as the Lockheed Martin X-59, also called Quest, developed under the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Program. This aircraft is designed to study quiet supersonic flight and to assess public reaction to reduced sonic noise, a crucial step toward future commercial supersonic operations. In October and November of the year 2025, the American X-59 completed its first test flight. These flights demonstrated the practical feasibility of the low-boom supersonic concept and attracted considerable attention from the global aviation community. They also underscored the intensity of international competition in this field. Despite this competition, Russian engineers argue that their advances in aircraft layout, propulsion technology, and noise reduction provide unique advantages. They believe these strengths could lead to the creation of a competitive aircraft suitable for future commercial service. Russia's Ministry of Industry and Trade, working alongside specialized research institutions, has already incorporated supersonic technologies into national aviation development programs, enabling projects like STRISH to move forward with strong institutional support. The development of a supersonic commercial airliner represents not only a major technical achievement, but also a potential turning point for the aviation industry as a whole. If the Strish program progresses from a demonstrator to serial production during the decade of the 2030s, it could create a new class of high-speed passenger aircraft capable of connecting continents in a matter of hours, rather than the much longer durations associated with conventional subsonic flights. Specialists emphasize that ultimate success will depend not only on engineering and aerodynamics, but also on safety, economic feasibility, and compliance with international environmental and emission standards. Nevertheless, the current achievements, including successful RD-93 MS engine testing, innovative aircraft configurations, and advanced aerodynamic solutions, provide grounds for cautious optimism. Russia is clearly taking decisive steps toward bringing supersonic travel back into the sphere of commercial aviation. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.